Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download, install and configure Grafana on Windows operating systems. Open browser, then go to grafana.com. Then go down, click on documentation, then click on Grafana, then click on install on Windows. Grafana installation is very simple process. Then click on Grafana download page. Here select the version. See the latest stable version is 10.1.0. Then click on Windows. Here we have two types of downloads. Standard Windows binaries and Windows installer. Click on this download installer. See download is started. Go to downloads. See its size is 149 megabytes. Wait until this download completes. I will resume once download is completed. See, installation has been completed successfully. Click on this MSI file. See, if you receive this pop-up like Microsoft Defender Smart Screen prevented an unrecognized app from starting running this app might put your PC at risk. Click on more info. Then click on run away. Click on next. Select the license agreement and click on next. It is going to install Grafana Enterprise run Grafana as service. Then click on next. Click on install. If you receive user account control pop-up, just click on yes. Click on finish. We have successfully installed Grafana. Now open browser then localhost number is then the default port number is 3000 hit enter see this is the grafana login screen provide the username default username is admin password also same click on login click on ok never so at present i am not going to change so click on skip later See, this is the Grafana dashboard, basic tutorials, data sources, dash, dashboards. So if you want to add Postgres or MSSQL or MySQL databases, click on this, click on this menu and click select connections. See, these are the list of the data sources. So in this video, I am going to show you how to connect to MySQL. Just type MySQL, then click on MySQL, then data source, then click on add data source. Then search again MySQL. Click on MySQL. Here the name I am not going to change. Here the host name we have to provide. Then database name of the MySQL instance. Username and password. Then these are the other options. Max open connections, ideal connections, max lifetime like this. Here we have to provide minimum time interval. Then we have to click this save and test. Otherwise, click on delay. Go back. If you want to see PostgreSQL connection, type PostgreSQL. See. Click on PostgreSQL. Then click on data sources. Click on add data source. Here, search for PostgreSQL. PostgreSQL. Then click on PostgreSQL. In the same way, here also we have to provide host name, database name, username and password. Then other options like minimum tie event then we have to click on save save and test otherwise if you want to delete you have to click on delete then go to home in the same way if you want to go to dashboard click on dashboard or click on menu and click on dashboards click on new or select new dashboard new folder or import if an existing or downloaded json file you have to click on how to upload by clicking on this json file if you want to import then from any URL, you have to provide the import via Grafana. See here. If you have JSON script, just paste here. So, in this video, we have seen how to download, install and configure Grafana monitoring tool on Windows operating system. The process is same for all Windows operating systems. For more monitoring or Grafana videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.